Hi everyone, so today our Lesson 2 Units of Measurement module has gone live and I want to take a little bit of time to sort of walk you through uh, what might be a little different in our second lesson here and then the extra assignment you're going to have this week with your core group. Uh, so our second lesson is on units of measure and it builds right off of geometry in that in our previous unit we were looking at, you know, how to find area, you know, and units were a huge part of that, you know, finding a distance between two points, we obviously have units. Well, in this unit, we're going to be looking at how do we change those units of measure and then sort of building into the eventual thing of being able to, you know, calculate the cost of carpeting a room and, you know, given that we know the room dimensions in feet, but the cost is in yards, you know, those sorts of conversion type of things that we'll be looking at. Um, now, I want to just draw your attention if we look on like the student view of this unit, you might be going in and noticing, well, my unit's still grayed out, you know, professor, how do I access these lessons? Well, you can't until you finish the first geometry lesson. You have to complete all the parts of lesson one before you can move on to lesson two. This is a cumulative class. Not everything is sort of floating on its own. So if you haven't finished lesson one, there are parts of lesson two that just aren't gonna make sense yet. And so you'll notice that there is a prerequisite and within lesson one, you have to do certain things. And that's where you see the little like on a computer circles next to it. So I would need to go in here and view the intro, which talks about our learning targets. We have our three lessons that would need to be complete. Our, uh, we need a mark done, our textbook homework assignment. And then we have a quick, just, you know, knowledge check. Did I understand? Did I get it right? And once you've done those, then your second lesson will open up and you can access everything. And just like with the first one, you're going to have to, you know, submit certain parts of it before you'll be able to access lesson three, which will go live next week. Now, all of these assignments are going to be due June 8th, so a week from today. Uh, and just like last time, we have a lesson um, that goes into sort of some examples and some practice with our conversions. You'll notice that I've posted a link to an online unit converter calculator. Yes, you can do all these calculations by hand, but you will have access to this unit converter calculator on your midterm and final. And so I'd recommend getting pretty proficient with it. Um, it's a tool, use it. You know, we now have Google at our disposal, so why not? Um, I don't do unit conversions necessarily in my head. I always go and I look up sort of conversions with a calculator's help. I also posted a link to just a general free online calculator. You will have links to this also on your midterm and final in case you don't have your own calculator. Um, but the rest of the module is pretty similar then to the sort of first lesson. But what's new is our group discussion question. And so this is sort of your first group assignment. Um, and this is gonna be typical of how all of our group assignments are gonna go. I post them within a discussion board because that then gives you a means to communicate with your group. But one of your get to know you assignments was how do you prefer to be contacted? So you don't have to use this discussion board for your communication. If you choose not to, that's fine. Just let me know sort of how you're planning on communicating with your team members. Um, and you can do that in here. So what you'll see in this discussion is there's a document here with three different problems. One about a swimming pool, um, one about painting my office at Chandler Gilbert, um, one about hiking and how much time it would take me to finish a hike. So. What I would like you and your group to do is you only need to complete two of these three problems. And I sort of picked these problems because they're gonna help you with your first individual project, which is coming up um, soon. And so they give you sort of a, a preview of the types of math you might need to be able to do in your project and you guys can get some feedback and discuss. Um, so you're gonna pick two of these problems to complete with your group. Um, you guys discuss how you want to do it, you know, working together. Maybe you each work on them separately and then compare your answers, but you sort of need to work on some sort of strategy and which problems you want to do. And then once you guys have solved your problems, and when I say solve the problems, it's not just about the final answer. It's about all the work that led to your answer, um, sort of shown out in a nice, neat, organized way. 
And when you've done that, you're going to go to sort of the second part of this assignment in which you're actually going to share your answers with the entire class. So one member of your group is going to come in to this group share out board and you're going to sort of post your work and answers. And that way we can sort of all see, like, did we all get around the same answers? Did we not? Like, maybe you notice like another group um, got a totally different number than you your group and you know you're wondering if you did it right so you're going to share out we're going to be able to sort of compare our answers and that goes on this group share out page i of course will then this is what how you turn in your assignment is your post here so you post it here i get to see it your classmates get to see it everyone gets to see it only one person from your group has to post so it's all right if you're not that person you will still get full points for doing the assignment because i know who's in each group the final thing you're going to do with this project is, so this is due June 8th, like all our other module two assignments. And so you then have 24 hours until June 9th to complete a little evaluation. And all I really want to know on this evaluation is who you worked with. You know, that's important. If you actually worked with people, you should know who they are. And then how do you think they did? Because if universally everyone in your group says so and so really didn't participate you will that person will lose points on the project um, also if you don't complete the group evaluation you will lose points on this project because i sort of want to know did everyone participate did you all engage and not just one person carrying the whole group this is a team effort if we were in a physical classroom these would be the types of problems we would work together in groups on and solve with the help of discussion they're more complicated than our general just basic textbook problem um, and which, which is why we're solving them within a group and we're going to have these sort of group problems throughout the summer session uh, so this is sort of a, you know, dip our toes in with something not too deep or too difficult, hopefully. Uh, and if you guys have questions or your concerns or you're not sure about how to do something, don't be afraid. You know, you could post your questions in this first group discussion. Um, I get notifications when you guys post. Um, so I will be monitoring this to get sort of a sense of um, how your group's working together. And... And just keep in mind that this is sort of an extra thing that we're turning in that Thursday next week. And it's really gonna help you with that project. Best of luck uh, as you discover some units of measure information. If you, Again, if you have questions, don't be afraid to reach out to me, I'm here. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with.